Mother, Mother Tucker is the Mother Teresa of, of the city. I mean, it, she's rescued so many people. She makes sure people that don't have homes had homes. Uh, she made sure that people that didn't have food have food, people that don't have clothes. I mean, the basic Bible stuff. So I got so caught up in what I was seeing about the poor, I just felt like close my Bible up and go down the street and see if I find somebody to help. And from then on, I, it was just, it was, it just increased in my life to see about the poor. You, 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 can, you can throw a, a, a stone in the middle of a crowd and you'll probably hit somebody in Mother Tucker's blessed or helped in some kind of way. But she's 91. I mean, she gave so much of her life and her children gave so much of their lives that there is no 401k, there's no, there's no uh, retirement plan, there's no savings account, everything. I literally watched this, being, being in her home for two years, I watched her not pay her light bill to make sure someone else's light bill got paid. I, made sh I watched her make sure that everybody that came to her house got a plate. You know, you, you can't hardly just put yourself out to begging, pleading for people if you don't really love them. It'll cause you not to say when people call, oh, I'm sorry, I, I, I just don't have it, I'm sorry. You don't, you don't stop there. A, a time in her life where you, you, she needs a retirement, she doesn't have one. Clean up, wash, wash, mop, cook, pray. <laughs> but you gotta be determined because sometimes you go to feeling like, oh no, Lord, not this. <laughs> but then you say, all right, Lord, here we go, amen. Trying to find a, a, a home where she can be. It won't be a ministry home. It won't be a whole bunch of people in and out of her house. This is for her. <laughs> and I'm working night and day to try to get everybody to feel like I feel that we love her enough to help her at this time. If the word gets out to Tulsa, Tulsa, they love Mother Tucker. They love Mother Tucker. And they, they don't want to see her suffer like this. All of us should want her to have a place of her own, you know. So that's why I'm working so hard with it. Mother Tucker really shouldn't ever have to pay a light bill the rest of her life. She shouldn't have to pay a gas bill the rest of her life. ONG itself should turn Mother Tucker's electricity on or gas on and just let it rip until she's no longer on earth. It doesn't make sense for her to have to worry about food when she makes sure everybody, I'm getting emotional. Amen. Amen. I make her happy. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> All right. She saved me. The things that I do in the community, I do in the community because of her example. I, I wouldn't be doing this if it weren't for her. And so, I'm sorry. <laughs> she made sure I had food. She made sure I had a roof over my head. She made sure I had clothes. And for no reason, she didn't really know me until she got to know me. Uh, she does that for people all the time. There's no reason why she should worry at 91 years old about where, where she's going to lay her head. That's ridiculous. And um, actually, now I know I'm, my needs is going to be supplied with the house and whatever else I need for me personally. Because he said he would do it. See, he's our father and he cares for us. Amen. So it shouldn't be about anything other than the city being responsible for someone who's taking care of uh, the down and out in the city um, as well and as much as she's done for years. Think of 50 years. He's been doing it for 50 years. It's a long time to be doing anything. I, I, I tend to do it as long as I live. Because he said, be faithful until death. So that's how long I plan on doing it.